Hi, this is episode 76 of Crondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. If you've been programming for a while, a question that has most likely crossed your mind is, am I a good developer? Before we go on, let me share a little secret with you. Every developer, even senior devs, have insecurities when it comes to programming. Few individuals like to share that information, mainly because confidence and even arrogance has become a developer stereotype for some stupid reason. However, I'm not going to BS you. I can tell you that the more experience I have as a coder, the more I realize how much more there is to learn and how far I still have to go. With all that being said, today I want to discuss the topic of defining the tipping point for developers, which is essentially the point at which a dev goes from beginner to a pro. Since this topic is a bit abstract, it's not possible to point to a specific point in time and say, here it is. This is when it all clicks and makes sense. There's no sentinel moment when a programming mastery event occurs. It's different for every single individual. I remember when I was originally learning programming, understanding the syntax and context didn't come easy for me. It seemed like I spent 99% of my time looking things up and copying and pasting code from others just to get my programs running. Needless to say, my confidence as a programmer was very low in the beginning. I kept being plagued by nagging doubts such as, maybe programming isn't for you. Even if your code works, you're not going to be able to write your own programs. You're only typing in what the book is saying to do, you're not going to be able to build anything custom. And the negative thoughts continued from there. If you're a new developer, maybe some of this sounds familiar to you. Or maybe it doesn't, I simply lack confidence. Either way, I trudged along, trying everything I could think of to improve as a developer. Some approaches I tried were going through dozens upon dozens of programming books in various languages, trying to build up a portfolio of projects, and following online guides, which are great now, but back when I was originally learning how to code, the online resources were very poor. So what did the trick and push me over the edge to become a professional developer? None of those things and all of those things. I persevered through project after project and I consumed every training resource I could find. And slowly, something amazing started to happen. Everything started slowly to make sense. Even though it was a while ago, I still remember the moment when my first development tipping point happened. I was sitting in front of my computer at a coffee shop, working on a web application. After a few hours went by, I stopped dead in my tracks, realizing I had spent the afternoon building a project and hadn't looked up a single code snippet. It wasn't like I was programming the space station. The project was incredibly basic. However, it was one of the most exciting moments I can remember in my life. As great as that was, I still had very far to go. I can remember the next moment when it felt like I reached another key milestone. Even though my confidence had increased as a developer, the thought of anyone seeing my code or watching me code was a very scary thought. However, I'd started to build my freelance business and a client, who was also a developer, asked me to perform a pair programming session with him. He'd run into a bug with the program we were building and asked me to jump on a screen sharing session with him where we could work through the project at the same time. Honestly, I was scared to death when he asked. I'd never coded in front of anyone before and the thought of doing this with a client pretty much gave me a panic attack. However, I didn't really have a choice in the matter, so I started the session with him. After a few minutes of nervousness, I started to relax, and to my surprise, not only did I not make a fool of myself, I actually figured out the bug in his code and got the feature working. So what was my secret to getting over the hump and going from a beginner to a professional developer? Unfortunately, there's no easy recipe to follow. However, there is a process that's guaranteed to work, and the process isn't specific to becoming a programmer. It's the same whether you want to be a dev or you want to be a professional athlete. It's hard and smart work. In the book The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell, Gladwell gives countless case studies of what it takes for individuals to achieve mastery in a specific field. The key comes down to how dedicated an individual is to a specific skill. The book postulates that it takes around 10,000 hours for an individual to become a true master of whatever they're pursuing. 
I'm not sure if I believe in the 10,000 hour rule, mainly because there are a large number of variables when it comes to learning a topic or skill, and rarely does a single rule apply for all fields. Also, I think the quality of your practice makes a significant difference. For example, if you're learning how to play the violin, 5,000 hours of practice with a world-class instructor is probably equivalent to 10,000 hours trying to figure it out by yourself. However, with all of that being said, one thing cannot be denied. The key to mastery is hard work. I'm sorry if you're hoping for a quick fix. I can tell you from experience that there are no shortcuts to becoming a good developer. You need to learn the fundamentals of coding, how to build projects on your own, and discover various processes for working through bugs. Becoming a great developer is not an easy road. However, you can be comforted in the fact that you are 100% in control of how skilled you're going to become. The formula is straightforward. The harder you work, the better you're going to get. So get your hands on all the material you can find on the language and framework you want to learn. Work through challenging applications and you'll be well on your way to mastery. And soon, you'll be able to have an exciting moment of clarity when everything starts to click.